Cut! Enemy spotted! If you're gonna run, now's your chance! Three enemies. We got a drop on them, but Coming. be careful! Yeah. Cut! Yeah! Cut! Cut!
been fighting for a while now. Why don't we take a little break here? Think we're getting close to the Grand Phantasm yet? Grand Phantasm? Would that be... Oh, sorry, forget I said that. It's been a pretty busy adventure so far, so how about we talk about something fun? Okay. Uh, sure, I'll go first. Do you mind if I ask you a question, Ryu? What made you want to be a pop idol in the first place? Oh, pulling out the big guns right at the start. Why do you ask, Saki? Looking for tips on breaking into the business? Oh, no, I, uh, well, just a little, I guess. <laughs> Saki, you're so cute. And Asahi, you shouldn't be so surprised. All girls want to be idols at some point. As for me, I saw other idols singing and sparkling on my TV screen and just wanted to stand by their sides. But reality got in my way. I'm the youngest in my family by far. I have a much older brother and a much older sister. So naturally, I grew up wearing out-of-style hand-me-downs. I never really had anything fancy. So whenever I saw idol singers on the other side of my TV screen, I'd marvel over their pretty outfits. You know, the sort of thing any kid would do. At least at first. I wanted to sparkle too. I wanted to wear pretty clothes. So I started learning to sew, hoping to make my own. I scrimped and saved for fabric and learned to use my mama's sewing machine. But no matter how hard I tried to imitate the clothes I saw on TV, I could never capture that same sparkle. Why were mine so wrong, I wondered. But it was around that time that my sister got me tickets to see my favorite idol live in concert. And when I saw her perform in person, that's when I finally understood. It wasn't the clothes that made her sparkle, it was the fans. We cheered for her, and she supported us right back. Those smiling faces were what made all the difference. I thought to myself, yes, this is it. This is the sparkle I seek. And from that day on, I devoted myself to becoming a great idol just like her. That's my greatest hope and dream. My papa was against it, though. So to convince him, I studied late into the night every, every, every single day. And finally, after a whole lot of hard work and persistence, I was finally walking the path to become a real idol. <laughs> and that brings us to today. There's my idol origin story. Wow. For someone so young, you've put yourself through a lot. Imagine that, Asahi. Working hard to actually do things with your life. Quiet, you. I can relate, though. I know what it's like to want to sparkle like the idols on TV. Idols really are a special breed. Saki? Thank you so much for sharing that with me, Ryu. No, thank you. I actually feel a lot better getting that all off my chest. Asahi? Saki? And even Pinkun. Thank you all for listening to my story. Now what are we waiting for? We've gotta go smash my delusion. A door! Don't forget to knock first! Yes, it's the Grand Phantasm. If we defeat it, this delusion gets nullified, right? Hey, Mippity. I want to confirm with you one last time before we do this. Once we beat this thing, your delusion will be shattered. Any effect on reality it had will disappear, which means your dream will die with it. It'll be like none of it ever happened. Are you sure you're okay with this? <sighs> What's wrong? Just... Now that it's right in front of me, I have to admit I'm scared. I should have been ready for this, but... Ryu... Then can you really call yourself an idol? Asahi! What's wrong with you? You made a promise to your fans. You told them that you'd become an idol for real. That's right, but... So tell me, what is a real idol to you? <laughs> 